Hello again everybody, Rob Cohey, Technical Evangelist for Autodesk Manufacturing, and I mentioned at the beginning of this web series that we were going to be introducing you to our product suites. Now I'm here with Shabai Bakchi, who is the product line manager for the factory design suite. Shabai, tell us a little bit about the factory design suite. So the factory design suite is a purpose-built offering we released in summer last year. Uh, it's targeted towards the specific needs of our manufacturing customers who need to uh, plan and lay out their factories. You know, the thing I like about the factory design suite is its ability to allow people to continue their current workflows and ultimately transition them through the, uh, through the factory design suite process to where they can, they can go from a 2D layout um, to include some point cloud information mm -hmm. into bringing that, fact, that 2D factory layout inside of Inventor so that they can do, you know, build out their 3D components and, uh, and, and so forth and then with the visualization in, inside of uh, Navisworks. Now we've got something inside the factory design suite that makes it all work together. Let's mm -hmm. explain that if, for a little bit if we could. So inside the suite products you get uh, 3D and 2D content of commonly used factory objects such as conveyors, mezzanines, safety fences, robots and so on. So the idea is instead of having to manually create sketches or create uh, 3D models of these, we are providing these directly out of the box so that users can simply drag and drop these inside their factory layout environments. So last year was the first release of the factory design suite and, and a great example of some early success that we've seen with customers. What do we have new to offer customers for the 2012 line of products? I think the 2012 release is going to be very exciting for all our customers. Uh, there are three main things that I would like to highlight. Uh, first of all, we have a one-click 2D to 3D workflow in the 2012 release. And what this really does is it helps customers to continue work with their familiar AutoCAD and the 2D workflow. So they start building the 2D layouts just as they would normally do today with AutoCAD. And what we've done is with this one-click workflow, enable them to take that 2D layout and convert it into a 3D layout in a matter of seconds. So what, what I'm hearing you say is, is if somebody's used AutoCAD architecture inside the factory design suite to, to drag and drop 2D blocks under their AutoCAD DWG, when they open up that file inside of Inventor Factory, the 2D blocks automatically turn into 3D objects? Exactly, you got That's it. That's fantastic. There's no more rework than that will have to occur. It's magic. That's, that's, that's amazing. Now, the other thing that I saw was uh, some material flow optimization tools. Mm -hmm. Explain a little bit about that. Sure. So, uh, when our customers are retooling their factories or setting up new production lines, material flow is a very important aspect of the overall process because that's where they spend a lot of non-value added time transferring the material from one station to another station inside the factory. Um, and the tr uh, you know, matter of fact is today they don't have any specific tools which helps them to really optimize this process. What we've done with the 2012 release is build all these tools, this functionality, directly inside AutoCAD. So now with their 2D drawing, customers can directly interact with the drawing, move the 2D blocks around, and the system would come back and give them real-time feedback as to whether the layout is good or bad from a material handling standpoint. Uh, that's fantastic. Now another thing that I know that's really important for our customers is uh, as we move from uh, to a, a largely 2D factory layout world into 3D, they're beginning to see the, the benefits of vis visualization. Mm -hmm. And we've done some great work this year with the visualization with the factory design suite, right? Absolutely. If I'm not able to clearly communicate or articulate my ideas, even though my work might be very good, it doesn't help my bottom line. So now with factory design suite, with the addition of tools like 3ds Max Design and Showcase, what we've done is brought that visualization technology right inside the factory design and layout environment. So once you create your layout, your work cells, your production lines, very easily inside tools like Showcase or with 3ds Max Design, you can set up very compelling animations and renderings so that it makes your work that much easier now to sell, to communicate these ideas with your stakeholders. I That's think our customers are going to really love this. So Shabai, do you have any parting thoughts? Yeah, I think the 2012 release is going to be an, a very exciting one for our customers. Uh, since our release last year, we've heard a lot of feedback from our customers and the workflows that we just discussed, like the 2D to 3D workflow, the material flow analysis, builds on the direct feedback we've received from our customers. So I think this is going to be really exciting and our customers are going to love this. All right, so product development goes directly off of customer feedback. Fantastic. Shabai, thank you. Thanks, Rob.